What's going on guys, Aaron from Top Tier Gaming here, coming at you today with a combo video and more of a how to play sort of Marincess guide for 2023. The last one I did was in 2022 when the deck got its support and it's about time for it to be updated. I meant to do one of these sort of post uh, my regional top 8 I got with the deck at the Shreveport Regional. However, I sort of forgot to and then a lot of time passed and then I was like, do I really need to do one of these? But I've gotten a lot of requests to keep, like, do a combo video on Marincess, and I just recently took it to a regional, so if you want to see the list I'm using for this combo video, I will leave the deck profile down below so that you guys can check out the list so you can see why I'm making some of the plays I'm making, because if your build's slightly different, you might go for a couple of different lines, but this will cover some of the very basic stuff, and we're going to do a couple of hand tests as well. Uh, I do previously have a 2022 Marincess combo video where I go over some of the very basic one card combos so I will not be repeating all of those just to make this video have more of like a purpose where it's showing how to play Marincess more in depth. Uh, however, I will show one combo line in particular for those maybe wondering how to do a Marincess one card combo. And so yeah, let's get into that. So the one card combo I want to show is actually the Marincess Spring Girl one card combo because the way she does it is slightly different from opening like Tang or Seahorse. So I'd rather show Spring Girl because I don't actually remember if I showed it in my previous combo video. And it's one of the more interesting one card combos. However, before we hop into this, I do want to let you guys know Discord link down below along with all of our social media links. Also, I'm trying to climb to 15,000 subscribers. Just recently hit 14K, so thank you guys for that. And now we are on the road to 15,000. So if you do enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh! content you like to see here, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and what I do here on the channel. And without further ado, let's get into this Spring Girl combo. So we're going to start by normal summoning our Marin says Spring Girl. And then we are going, you know, I'll place the deck here, I guess. And then we will link her off into Marin says Sea Angel. And if you have, like, Blue Tang or Seahorse... You can actually go for Blue Slug here instead, but of course, when you open something like Spring Girl, you have to start with Sea Angel because Blue Slug doesn't actually get you anywhere. Sea Angel is going to go ahead and add Marincess Dive from our deck to our hand, and then we will activate the Marincess Dive, special summoning the Spring Girl. Alright, just to kind of help me see what's going on as well and sort of place things on the mat, I'll be using one of our beautiful field centers. Alright, now that Marincess Dive has Special Summon Spring Girl, we can now link off the Spring Girl and the Sea Angel and go into Coral Anemone, where of course most Marincess lines will always funnel into. Coral Anemone effect is going to special the Spring Girl back to a zone she points to. And normally here you might want to like go for Blue Slug, but you actually can't go for Blue Slug yet. You will need to do that after this step where we are going to link off the anemone and the spring girl of course into our coral triangle. Now your coral anemone will activate in the graveyard and you're able to add the Marincia spring girl to your hand from your graveyard. Then you can go ahead and activate the spring girl, banishing we'll say sea angel from your graveyard and you will special summon the spring girl. Next we will go ahead and link off the spring girl here to go into blue slug and the reason you have to do it this way and save blue slug all the way until this point in the combo is because you're going to need a discard off of triangle so blue slug effect is going to go ahead and add the spring girl. Obviously you could have used spring girl's effect somewhere in this combo but for showing the wooden card combo that's not very relevant. Uh, and then you're able to Coral Triangle, discard the Spring Girl to add Marincess Wave from your deck to your hand. And then from here you can very simply link off the Blue Slug and the Coral Triangle into your Great Bubble Reef. And so essentially what you get off of just a Spring Girl is your Wave, which is going to make this unaffected and be an infinite impermanence, a Heat Soul Draw off of your Bubble Reef, which could be a Hand Trap or Follow Up. And you have amazing Follow Up in your Graveyard as well because you have the Coral Triangle, which will be able to Soul Charge these if they do happen to out your Bubble Reef. It's a lot considering it's just one card and you could have like four Hand Traps in hand with this. Uh, or, you know, even more engine that will make your end board better. So I did want to show off this one card combo and the rest of the video will be hand tests, sort of showing like what this deck does in practical usage. And I also want to show off a lot of go second lines where you can try to OTK with Zalantis because those are the most complicated lines in the deck by far. If you do want to see a, a few more one card combos to really get a feel for some of the cards, uh, you can check out my previous combo video that I will link down below. Um, like blue tang combo if you want to run sleepy maiden things like that so i'll leave that down below in the description in case you want to check that out but for the rest of this video it's mostly going to be hand tests so let's hop into it all right getting into some of these hand tests uh, i'm going to give it a quick shuffle here 
My mat is kind of far away from me, so I have to actually extend my arms out to get this shuffle on screen. It's a little awkward, but it's just the way like my mat and my camera position is working for this video. But yeah, we're gonna give the deck a quick shuffle as it was in deck profile when I did the profile yesterday. All right, so hopping in to the first hand test, we're going to shuffle the deck up a little bit again, once again, and give it a nice little cut. And then we're going to draw our first test hand, which is going to be a Marincess Blue Tang, a Pascalus, a Synet Mining, a Triple Tactics Talent, and a, an additional Triple Tactics Talent, so a little awkward, two talents. Going second, we would draw another Blue Tang. Not the greatest go second hand. Talents is a great card, and we'll have an extender with Synet Mining. So it's not like terrible, but it could be a lot better. And here we are sort of left with an option. We can try to go for the Bahamut Shark before summon five and use the Synet Mining early, which is like fine. And I guess we can go ahead and do that uh, because it's more of a combo than just like standard combo. So let's go ahead and activate the Synet Mining, discarding a Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, again, this isn't the route you have to go for. You can definitely just normal pass with a special blue tang and go for a very standard combo line, but I'm going to activate the Synet Mining. One, if this baits Ash, that's huge because we have triple tactics talent, but otherwise we still have a talent and we can make our play a little better and our end board a little better as well. So we're going to add a Marincess Spring Girl from our deck to our hand. Next, I'm going to normal summon Marincess Pascalus, uh, activate her effect, special summoning Marincess Blue Tang. Blue Tang effect is going to send a Marincess monster from my deck to the graveyard. One, I do not mind banishing preferably, so you know, just we'll do one of the seahorses in case we also somehow get interrupted for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, this is one thing I mentioned in my profile where there's a bunch of three card combos that actually get you here. Like Synet could have been Silent Sea Nettle, it could have been Marincess Dive or Monster Reborn, it could have hard opened the Spring Girl. There's so many different three card combos that lead you here. This is actually one of the more awkward ones is when you have to instantly banish for your Spring Girl, but it's overall fine. So I'm going to use Spring Girl's effect and special summon her by banishing this Marincess Seahorse. I'll put the banish cards over here. Next, I'm going to overlay the Marincess Spring Girl and the Pascalus into Bahamut Shark. And then of course, Bahamut Shark's effect is going to detach uh, the Spring Girl. And I'm going to special summon Totally Awesome from my extra deck. And then from here, I can link off my Marincess Blue Tang into the Sea Angel. And then we can go Sea Angel effect one and Blue Tang 2, so Blue Tang is going to reveal 3, which is a Synet Mining, a Pascalus, and a Battle Ocean. That's actually huge to find Battle Ocean there. Uh, and then Sea Angel will resolve, and we can add Marincess Dive. So finding Battle Ocean is pretty wild because it means we get both spells. That was actually a huge hit. Of course, if you find Dive off of Blue Tang, then you can still add the Battle Ocean. Seeing any spell off of it is very big. And then we're going to link off the Mah Bahamut Shark and the Marincess Sea Angel, into a Coral Anemone. With Coral Anemone, we are then able to bring back a, any Marincess monster in our graveyard. It can probably be the Spring Girl because we haven't used her effect yet. And then we can link off the Spring Girl into the Blue Slug. There's no reason to save it like the last combo because we also have Dive as an extender. Uh, so we're in a good spot here. And then Blue Slug can add back the Blue Tang as Chain Link 1. Uh, and then Sea Angel, or Spring Girl, excuse me, can activate Chain Link 2. We'll mill the top two cards, uh, which in this case had a Seahorse, which is pretty nice. It means we have that as an option for later. So Spring Girl burned for 200 and got us another resource. So now we're going to link off the Coral Anemone and the Blue Slug into the Coral Triangle. And then we're going to activate Coral Anemone's effect in Graveyard. Also, for anyone wondering, in theory, you could have activated this Battle Ocean earlier, and every time you summon a Link Monster here, you could use the Battle Ocean's effect to kind of play around interrupts. However, that takes a lot of time. It's not something I'm going to do for every combo in this video. Just know, yes, Battle Ocean could be up and active already, but no real point. Uh, Coral Anemone is going to add back the Seahorse we just milled, which is huge. It's just a free resource. So, so far, we've gotten two completely free resources uh, off the Spring Girl Mill and the Blue Tang add. Um, technically this one was off Coral Anemone, but it's still very nice to have. Now we can go ahead and use Coral Triangle's effect, and we can discard the Seahorse we just added back, so even though it was free, technically you're going to use it anyway, so it didn't really matter too much. And we're going to add Marincess Wave from our deck to our hand. 
Of course, if we're ever interrupted at any point, we have this talent to either look at our opponent's hand um, or just like draw two cards, which is very good. Now I'm going to activate the Battle Ocean here, probably up here, and hope there's not a super bad glare, but this is Battle Ocean. Uh, then we can activate Marincess Dive. Uh, I, I'm going to choose a Special Summon from Graveyard. Special Summoning from Deck is technically better because you can like get Basil Alima in Grave. Uh, but then you like are closer to getting Ash Blossomed. In theory it's fine here because they would have Ash something else, so yeah, I guess we can Marincess Dive Special from Deck. But when you're starting out your plays, you want to be sure not always to use Marincess Dive from Deck. Uh, we can go for Basil Alema or Mandarin. I'm going to go for Mandarin here, uh, just to have her in grave for our follow-up turn, where we might want to try an OTK with Solantis. And then we can link off the C uh, the uh, Mandarin, excuse me, and the Coral Triangle into our Aqua Argonaut, which is, of course, the main boss monster in the Marincess deck. Uh, and then from here, this is just, this is a crowded, <laughs> this is a crowded sort of um, combo video. We're going to equip the Blue Slug, the Anemone, and the Sea Angel to our Aqua Argonaut. These will all be in the Spell and Trap Zone. And what's really nice is if Aqua Argonaut is outed, you'll still get your Coral Anemone effect on the next turn. And of course, when Aqua Argonaut negates, you're able to bring Coral Anemone out of your Spell and Trap card zone to the Monster Zone, which is just like huge. In fact, you wouldn't want it there though. Maybe like over here would be great. Uh, but yeah, these are all equipped to Aqua Argonaut. So you end with follow-up, Marincess Wave, still one of your cards in hand. Uh, totally awesome, which is an interrupt plus follow-up. Aqua Argonaut, which is also an interrupt plus follow-up. You have a Soul Charge Engrave. You have a Mandarin for your OTK line. It, it's a lot off of what that hand was. And that was, of course, Bahamut Shark and Totally Awesome before Summon 5. So it sort of plays around Nib or any very impactful hand trap. And yeah, that is going to be it for the first combo. Going into our second combo, hopefully I can show off a going second hand. Uh, I know those are like not always the things that get like asked about the most, but it's one of the most complicated things in Marincess for sure, is how to like OTK with Zalantis. Of course, I won't be able to mimic playing through an entire board, but I just want to show sort of how you get to the correct OTK numbers if you can actually play through your opponent's board as well and sort of what you need to OTK. So hopefully we can get a good go second hand here. Uh, we'll give the deck a nice cut and we will draw our go second hand if I speak it into existence. Okay, Nib is a pretty good start technically. So we have Nibiru, Book of Eclipse, Seahorse, Book of Eclipse, and Mandarin. Huh. I do think this hand has a lot of going second power, obviously, with two Book of Eclipse and a Nibiru. That much is for sure. But can we get a Zalantis OTK line here? I'm going to try it and see just how far we can go. To OTK, very often you will need uh, Battle Ocean. So I'm not quite sure. We do get a sixth card going second, which is Talents. Okay, so of course, in a real game, say you went second and you dropped Nibiru and you have talents to take one of their monsters, obviously OTKing is very easy past that point, but that's not what this is supposed to show. It's supposed to show how we do it with our engine. So I'm going to try, Mandarin's a really good card, but can we actually do something with this? Uh, again, this hand doesn't show exactly what I want, so hopefully we'll find a better go second hand. Obviously, don't get me wrong, this hand was crazy going second. You're able to do a lot. Uh, honestly, you probably break their board without even having to make Zalantis. I just wanted to show you waterlocking yourself and getting into Zalantis because then you can clear their board. Like, say you eclipse like four monsters, right? Uh, you need to get rid of those. You really need to make sure you get rid of those. So you can make Zalantis, banish them all, and they don't come back because you're locked into water. Uh, for those unaware with that mechanic, essentially you're locked into water by a few cards in this deck, being uh, Blue Slug, Coral Anemone, Dive, and Silent Sea Nettle. All of those hard lock you into water monsters, so when you use Atlantis to banish all monsters on the field, you, the player, have to special summon as many as possible. Now the only monsters that are possible for you to summon are water monsters because you are water locked. So say your opponent banished four earth monsters, and you banish three water monsters, well, your, all your water monsters are coming back, 
and they get nothing because you are the person summoning and you can only summon water. So for those unaware with how that mechanic works, it's sort of the biggest part of Zoantis in this deck. It's insane. Also, he has another effect where you can pop cards in the battle phase equal to how many Kogan monsters are in the field, which is super good because of the way Marinces arrows work with Zoantis. You can very easily get two to three co-linked monsters, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, we'll just go ahead, give this another shuffle, give it another cut, and do another test hand. So, opening up, we have Infinite Impermanence, Blue Tang, Triple Tactics Talent, Synap Mining, and Battle Ocean. So this is another crazy hand. Um, I don't know if I want to use this Synap Mining just yet. This will be just in case I guess I get Gammaed and I need to extend with Spring Girl. That's something you can do there. Uh, sign up mining again. I mentioned in my profile that I don't really like the card too much. Um, is it worth showing this hand off? No, I don't think so. This hand has two go second cards. It has sign up mining, blue tang, battle ocean. This hand's insane, but it's just very similar to all one card Marincess combos. I don't think it's worth showing like just a random Marincess combo with blue tang. Obviously, if you've played Marincess even a little bit, you know what to do with this hand. You dump seahorse and just go regular combo. You can even dump. Uh, Spring Girl, and then do Spring Girl combo I showed earlier, except you start with Blue Tang, which is just extra free. Uh, so yeah, this hand we won't play out. Going second, we'd have also drawn a nib as our sixth card, which is not great. But I think that hand overall was very solid, giving us another very nice quick shuffle into a cut into another hand. We're probably going to have a few hands we sort of don't play out and just show. Uh, so yeah, give this deck another shuffle here. Give it a cut. And let's see our next hand. It is a Nibiru, a Pascalus, a Basilalima, a Triple Tactics Talent, and an Ash Blossom. So yeah, this hand is pretty solid overall too. Uh, going first, we have like an extender kind of um, with Basilalima, which this is full combo. Just either one of them only gets you a Coral Triangle that searches Wave. Um, however, opening both means full combo, right? Because the second you have two Marincess monsters anywhere in rotation, uh, you just get your Link 4 uh, in a bunch of different ways you can actually do it. But yeah, going second, what else would we see? Another Triple Tactics Talent, which is, again, kind of awkward, but not terrible. Uh, so yeah, these hands are going really well. Like, the deck is definitely showing off how consistent it is and how every hand is pretty gosh darn good, which is one of my favorite things about Marincess. Uh, there's not many hands that are bad unless they are completely unplayable, like you drew zero Marincess monsters, which does happen from time to time. Um, but not running Sleepy Maiden on this list and running the third Seahorse over her, often you will see a Marincess monster, so it's pretty good. Again, if some of these are confusing to you because I just show a blue tang and I'm not showing the combo, you can watch my combo video from last year, which is again in the description where I go into the very standard combos a little more in depth. So we'll do a couple more hand tests here, see what we got, and like, I wish I could show a good Zalantis line, but it's really hard when you don't know what you're playing through like what your opponent has, and trying to show off how to get just enough damage. So we will show off our next hand, which is Blue Tang, Seahorse. Okay, if we can show this hand going second. Desires, Book of Eclipse. Okay, this is not bad. And Nibiru. Yeah, this is a pretty strong go second hand as well. It's an amazing go first hand too. Maybe I'll try to show off a Zalantis line here, which the thing about the Zalantis line is you need to save one of your Link 1s and you need, you just need a lot of engines, so, hmm, let's see how we're going to do this. I think we might want to just go ahead, we really need Battle Ocean though, that's the thing, that's what makes this so hard. I think we're going to Desires first in this hand, just because I'm trying, ooh, wait, we are going second if we're going for a Zalantis line, and we draw Pascalus, wow, that's really big, that's huge, okay. So this might work now. Say we Nibiru them, maybe Book of Eclipse them. Either way, we are playing into a board where we're kind of free reign here. I'm going to show as Atlantis OTK because that is just the most like important, difficult part of the deck. Uh, we're going to start with Marincess Pascalis, which I'm going to go ahead and play the zones I normally do, I guess. Pascalis, don't Blue Tang, Blue Tang effect. I'm going to go ahead and send the... Um, Mandarin, I believe? Like, she is really important for some of these OTK combos, because you really just want the extra body sometimes. Um, where do we want to go from here? I guess from here we can link off the Blue Tang into a Sea Angel. 
Again, you'll want to save a link one, so we have to do this combo without using blue slug. See angel effect, we're going to add the battle lotion. And again, you need battle lotion to OTK because, I mean, it just is how you're getting the most damage in Marincess. Uh, blue tang effect, uh, I guess in this case, blue tang will be chain link one. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I'm not trying to show off the free resources we would get. So we'll say blue tang mist, uh, which I mean it did, but for the sake of this combo as well, we'll say blue tang mist. And then we will link off the Sea Angel and the Pascalus into the Anemone. And then Anemone effect will bring back the Sea Angel. And we still have the Seahorse, which I, I don't exactly remember where it's going to come up. It'll, it'll, it'll come up for sure, but where am I going to summon it? Not quite sure. Uh, then we're going to special summon the Mandarin because she's just free at this point, And having a banished Marincess will be big. Uh, so we'll go ahead and link off the Anemone and the Sea Angel and go into Coral Triangle, which uh, I guess the best reason to go for Coral Triangle, even if you're trying to OTK, is that if you don't OTK, you still can get either the Trap or set up the Soul Charge for their follow-up turn, so that's really nice. Anemone is going to add back a Marincess monster, we'll make it Blue Tang. I guess from here we could Special Summon the Seahorse. Uh, let's say we're not going to search Wave because we're just trying to OTK, I guess. From here, we can link off the Mandarin and the Coral Triangle into the Great Bubble Reef. And this is what I was trying to do with a combo earlier, was sort of show off that you want to banish Marincess with a Marincess monster in hand. Uh, and then we will discard the Blue Tang to Special Summon the Mandarin. Then we can turn our Bubble Reef into Zelantis. This should be enough damage, right? Another really easy way to get OTKs uh, with this deck is to have Spring Girl in the combo, and the reason for that is just like we wanted this Mandarin banished, right? Uh, if you can Spring Girl banish something like, if you had Spring Girl instead of Seahorse, and you banish Coral Anemone instead, you can get like an extra 2k body here instead of like a 1400 body, uh, which is, you know, additional damage is nice. And let's see where we want to go from here. So from here we can go ahead and activate Zelantis which is going to, um, what am I trying to say? It's, it's going to banish all of our opponent's monsters, which is very nice. Then we can activate the Battle Ocean. And then I'm just gonna move my hand over here. I don't know if it can be seen. We're gonna link off the Mandarin, which now goes back to Grave, which is cool. Uh, and then we are going to equip, or excuse me, we're going to make Blue Slug. Uh, and we are going to equip three Link monsters from our graveyard. It doesn't have to be these three. Obviously, these are not the most optimal three. You do want to make sure Anemone is always equipped just in case. And let's see, is this enough damage? So we have 35, this is 6,000, and it's only 7,600 with this hand. Okay, so we have to pot of desires now. <laughs> so we're going to banish one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we need a Spring Girl. I, I think oftentimes you'll need Spring Girl in these combos. Uh, which is just unfortunate. Where, where's that going? Uh, and we draw Silent Sea Nettle and Marincess Dive, which, hold up, let me go ahead and read this card. Ah, so now we can go ahead and special our Silent Sea Nettle, which now this is 8,400 uh, for game. So that's nifty that Desire's got us there. To OTK with the Lantis in this deck, it is so difficult, and the lines get really complicated, especially when you're, like, playing into an actual board uh, oftentimes you can miss the mark by just a little bit, which is super annoying. Also, Marincess Dive uh, doesn't have to special summon in defense. So, like, you need a good mix of engine cards and go second cards uh, to do it. Uh, again, if you have Spring Girl and this was a 2k body, right, like, you don't miss the mark, which is what I'm saying. The most important thing to remember when trying to OTK with Zelantis is you're often going to want... Um, a Link 1 that you can make after your Zelantis has banished, and you can sort of do something like this. And obviously if you searched Wave earlier because, I don't know, you uh, used the Triangle or you had an extra engine piece to discard something like that, you still have Wave Live here as well. So yeah, that is my attempt to show how to OTK with Zelantis. Obviously we were a little off without the Desires, but say Desires was just Silent Sea Nettle, right? Like then you have OTK, or if it was Spring Girl, it's even better. I hope that kind of showed what you're attempting to do. Uh, OTKing with Marincess is something that was never really designed for the deck. Like the deck wasn't supposed to be able to do it when Konami was like designing it. 
back before Zolantis' release, it felt just about impossible. Uh, so the fact that Zolantis exists now, there are lines you can attempt to do, like I just did, where you can try an OTK. And of course, a Spring Girl burn that might have hit two Marincess cards there, uh, 76 would have been exactly game, right? So before, like with Marincess, it, it would take multiple turns to really get somewhere. Also, in hands where I'm drawing Nibiru, there are other lines where if their token is big enough, you can just make Kragen and very easily attempt to go for game. So, yeah. There's a couple of different lines. I'm going to show one last test hand, see what we get here uh, after that. Uh, definitely not the most concise explanation of the Zelantis OTK because it's just so hard to do. It's, it's one of the toughest things in this deck. And even then, maybe there was a line that's better than the one I took. Uh, where you could have done something differently, maybe making the, um, what's her name? Why am I forgetting her name? What, what is your name? Where are you? Uh, the Marbled Rock and adding back a resource and then having something else. I don't know, maybe that would have worked. Uh, if Blue Tang hits, obviously you get a free resource, which can help you out a lot. Same thing with Spring Girl. Let's just do one last test hand. Hopefully it's good. We have a Book of Eclipse here. Uh, whoops. We have a Pot of Desires. That's always pretty good. We have a blue tank. Yeah, this hand's insane. Every hand was insane, which was great. Okay, hold up. We might have the triple blue tank hand, though. And Monster Reborn. No, this hand's great. Uh, going second, only Book of Eclipse, but we'll draw more Incest Dive, which is an extender. We have double extender, which is actually pretty big, especially when you open something like blue tank. Uh, desires, of course. Let's just, you know, Desires draw two random cards. Wow, two talents. This has been happening all video. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be it for this combo video. I hope it helped anyone struggling with Marincess. Again, a lot of the one card combos are pretty self-explanatory. If you watch my other video, I didn't want to spend too much time on them so I could go more in depth on actual combos. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Aaron from Top Tier Gaming. Bye, YouTube.